MotorWeek is made possible by Cars.com. We're always learning new things as test car junkies and motorheads, and we just can't get enough tech talk around our shop. But where does a car crazy kid go when he wants some real car know-how? Well, we sent Yolanda Vasquez on a mission to find out, and it landed her at a very special high school where students learn about a lot more than just car care. At first glance, Automotive High School in Brooklyn, New York looks and sounds. Sophomore classes will be performing three modern versions of the ancient Greek play Antigone. Like any other high school in the country. But a few telltale signs, like this shiny Toyota engine in the lobby and the constant crank of a ratchet, lets you know this school specializes in all things automotive. Here, a child might start his or her day with a class like brake steering and suspension, and then two periods later be in a Shakespeare class. Automotive High combines the best vocational training in the industry with an academically rigorous program. Principal Melissa Silberman says students choose to attend her school, hoping to get a job once they graduate. Recent statistics are showing that the baby boomer auto technicians are retiring. In the next five years, they expect to have a need for 25,000 auto technicians. There are two major disciplines at Automotive High. One focuses on the business side of the industry. The other teaches students how to become skilled auto techs through a NATEF certified program. So we're talking about positive pressure in the crankcase. How can I get positive pressure in the crankcase? In Mr. Casino's auto shop, these upperclassmen use state-of-the-art diagnostic tools to troubleshoot problems on vehicles both old and new. One of their biggest challenges this semester is an engine swap from a Mercedes ML to a C-Class. Watch your hands. The German car manufacturer sponsors the Auto Lab, giving students the chance to practice on modern high-tech cars. There's also a diesel-powered Mercedes that's been converted to run on vegetable oil. The school's grease car teaches students a valuable lesson on alternative fuels. Something that we use every day uh, to cook with uh, and we, as a waste product, is now is converted to a fuel, which is uh, virtually free. For many students, getting up close and personal with these machines is a dream come true. It's an excellent feeling, especially when you work, especially when you got your hands on something that you really like doing. You know, you just want to go ahead and keep going at it. Lessons learned in this class are carried over to the live shop class run by Carlos Caraballo. The first two years, okay, the kids have broken bolts, they've made mistakes, and when they get down here, the first day, I have to explain to them that we can't have that down here. Live Shop operates just like a normal repair shop with friends and family members bringing in their vehicles for service. The students do wheel alignments, tune-ups, brake jobs, even state inspections. Caraballo thoroughly reviews the students' work, stressing the consequences of a faulty repair. These are people's lives, you know, that they depend on their vehicle. You know, and the last thing we need is for somebody to be driving down the road and the tire falls off. I feel the trade aspect is definitely very helpful because now if I don't go into the secondary school, I do have something that will help me out in life. Senior Juan Gonzalez speaks with confidence as he looks forward to life after Automotive High. In five years, I hope to be working for a major manufacturing company, designing components for the vehicle. That's a pretty lofty goal. Yeah, I know. I'm working hard for it. And guys aren't the only ones with big dreams. Shanice Aracena is one of 60 trend-setting females who attend Auto High. There's not many females in the automotive industry, so. After four years, Aracena's learned the basics of her craft and how to handle the constant ribbing by her male counterparts. Some guys in the class are like, I bet you she knows more about cars than you do. Recruiting females is a never-ending challenge for Silberman, who often finds herself defending the relevance of her school to educators and administrators. Being an auto technician um, now more than ever before is no longer a self-taught field. Raising and educating future technicians and elevating a school like this is essential. As far as Silberman's concerned, the doors of Automotive High will remain open as long as there's a car that needs to be repaired and students who want to immerse themselves in an industry that can lead to a promising future. This school embodies the American dream. If you work hard, you can learn to do a skill with your hands and your head and your heart, and you can be somebody in the world.